Hey guys, this is um the Tom Boy's Heart episode four. Um yeah. turn up your freaking value. Okay. Back from where we left off when they just cut the shit off without no fucking warning. Oh girl. Okay, look at all these people. Why do they have on their uniform? Like, oh, this nigga, he stay kissing somebody. She bad as shit. <laughs> Wish me luck. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to shove this in his face that I can wear a dress to. You have to let him come to you. You'll seem desperate. Right. So what do I do while I'm waiting? Just find something to do while I scope out the some girls. Hey, Carter, dance with us. That's my cue. Um, see you around. Now what? Why did I even come? I look so stupid. <laughs> what are you wearing? I made a deal and I'm going to stick to it. Anyways. One piece of dark. What? Did you poison it? Quit being like that. Just take the damn pizza. Um, don't choke on that pizza. I had pizza and I had a lot to drink. And I mean a lot. I drank and drank until I was freaking wasted. It just so happened. Uh, so was Connor. Hey, need help? Oh, damn. Never mind, I can barely help myself. I got it. I'm having so much fun. We were all we were all totally wasted. Hey, Carter, how about we kiss? What do you mean? Oh, No, Connor, I don't want to do that. Okay. Wait, it's okay. We'll be fine. She said no, dude. Understand what she's saying. Stay out of this, Alex. You're nothing but trouble. Oh, really? Buddy, go home. You're drunk. No, I'm staying here to kiss Carter. Right, Carter? Oh, I see your unicorns. <laughs> What the fuck type of drunk is this bitch? <laughs> See, fucking, you know, come on, let's go to, let's go in the closet. I don't want to. I'm giving you one more chance. She said, no. Shut up, Alex. Dude, just watch me. Oh, girl. Bitch. Oh, damn. And why the fuck does she keep, okay, that's when I blacked out. I'm like, why the fuck does she keep falling down? I heard people partying and, pe and music bumping in my ears. I was laying on the floor out cold. Why didn't I have, why did I have to drink? Carter, lay down. I opened my eyes to see Alex carrying me to my bed. Why are you carrying me? Just go to bed. Your dad can't see you like this. But I want to go back to him. I want to go back and party. <laughs> but I was still drunk as hell, girl. Go to bed. Okay, fine. I'm going to sleep. I tucked myself under my covers and rested my head on my pillow. Also, take off that makeup. You look like a plastic doll. Do I look better without it? Yep, I was still really drunk. I just like it better. Never mind. I saw him stare at the floor with his hands shoved inside his pockets. You know you're such an idiot for drinking that much. Aren't you drunk too? <laughs> no, I could have if I didn't see you fall. Uh, wait, no, I could have if I didn't see you fall every five minutes. So, who told you to watch over me? Because you're an idiot. I remained silent. He was partly right. I need to go out the window to go. Uh, I need to go out the window. Go to sleep, Dork. 
Uh, say thank you. Thanks for taking me on. Just go to sleep. You rude, bitch. Get annoyed with me, bitch. You could have got drunk, bitch. Nobody told you to babysit. Hell. <laughs> it was then Sunday. Let me just say my head hurt so much. Like, I thought my bangs were going to pop out my fucking head. Like, I managed to get away from it. From staying in my room all day. Then, now it was Monday morning. A school morning. Last night was crazy. I even remember being brought home by Alex. Girl, that wasn't last night. If you was... Okay, whatever. Wait, Alex Parker brought me home. Um, whatever. Let's get dressed. Let's see. Dress number two, y'all. Choose this. Whatever. This is fine. Time for the makeup. Can't wait till I'm done with this day. Then I'm done with this girly shit. Several extra quick minutes later. <sighs> that took forever. Now let's get the hell out of here. Girl, I want to see some lip popping. Some something, girl. Damn. What now, twerp? I don't know. Maybe that I saw Alex come in carrying you in, to your bed. I was drunk. He was just helping. Why were you drunk? Are you my dad now? I can handle myself, Lucas. I don't need you watching over me. Don't tell dad. And I'll let you use my console for another week. Lucas, you always thinking about something. Deal. God damn, Lucas. Shit. I didn't walk with Carter. I mean, with Carter. With Connor today. I guess he remembered what happened last yesterday, too. Hey, is the seat taken? Mm, yeah, it... Thanks. So, what's your name? I'm guessing you're new, right? You guessed right. Well, I'm Carter. That's a pretty name. My name's Xavier. Um, thanks. I got nervous by a boy what's happening to me. This has never happened before. Class started and Alex still hasn't shown up. Where could he be? 15 minutes into the cl into the lesson, Alex came strolling through the <laughs> rolling through the fucking door with the cigarette between his fingers. Alex Parker, you're 15 minutes late and you've been smoking on school grounds. That's right, Tom. Please take your seat. We had enough of you. And throw that cigarette out. It wouldn't kill you to have one. You seem pretty tight lately. Can you move? That's my seat. Calm down, Alex. He's no, he didn't know. Like I care. Nice to see you again, little brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> brother. Xavier, why are you here? I thought you were at boarding school. I cleaned up my act and I see you still haven't. Whatever. Get the hell out of my seat. I don't know, Alex. I want to sit... Oh, wait. I want to sit next to the to the sight of beauty. <laughs> that was pretty damn corny, but it was pretty cute. I officially have problems now. How come? I, I didn't know you were back. Maybe if you came home yesterday, you would know. Just move, Alexander. Fine. I'll catch up with you later, Carter. Winky wink. <laughs> I swear what just happened. Did I just fall for his brother? Oh, my freaking God. So, how are you both in the same grade? Are you twins? No, he's older than I am. He failed seventh grade, so he had to redo that grade. Then his attitude got worse and was sent away. 
Now he's cleaned up his act and he's back. Oh, stay away from him. Bitch, you don't want to. And why would I do that, girl? Just do what I say. I'm capable of handling myself. Thank you very much. You're so damn stubborn, I swear. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Minutes and minutes later passed. And it was time for lunch. Girl, that damn bell just stressed me the fuck out. Bro. Hey, Carter. Oh, hi. So, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out tomorrow. That's when I realized that he was only flirting with me because I was dressed like this. Listen, I'm not regularly dressed like this. I made a bet that I could. I'm a weirdo that plays video games and plays soccer. Even better, so what do you say? I just seriously got asked out by a guy. I be rolling at the shit. <laughs> Why not? See you around. Okay, girl. Listen, Carter, I'm sorry about what happened the other day. It was the alcohol talking. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I can forgive you. Let's just pretend nothing happened. Deal. So who took you home that night? Alex. I'm sorry, what? I know, it's crazy. Let's just go eat. Do she even have on shoes, y'all? Like, I don't think this bitch got on no shoes. I feel kind of in about what happened with uh, Xavier. He was happy that I was finally out of my phase of saying love is for losers. It's not a phase, Connor. Then it was time for detention. You didn't forget, did you? Oh, yeah. I got, oh, yeah. Ugh. Hey, dark. You're so antisocial. No, I'm not. Sure. I bet you don't even have plans for the whole week. Instead of hanging out with your friends. Actually, I do. Yeah, like what? I'm hanging out with someone tomorrow. Really? Who? Xavier? Bitch. What did I tell you? <laughs> Why does it matter? Because I said so. Well, I'm hanging out with him tomorrow. If you like it or not. Okay, Carter. Do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. In nice dress. You're so rude. I guess I can, I stand corrected. You can be girly for two days. What have I been saying this whole time? I know, I know, I underestimate you. Anyways, we'll never discuss what happens if you want. Well, we never discuss what happens if you want. Nothing. I just love the sweet smell of victory. <laughs> well, good luck with your victory. I'm ditching. How are you going to ditch if there's a teacher right in front of you? He leaves around this hour. Then he comes back before detention's over. Let me guess, you want to come along? I'm always up for an adventure. The supervisor already left. This was the perfect time to leave. Mm -hmm. Let me warn you, I'm going to meet up with someone on the bad side of town. What? What the fuck? I Bruh, I hate that they just cut this shit off in the middle of, like, talking. Like, that shit is so fucking stupid. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that bullshit.